Ready? Okay. Suki, do you want to take a walk? <sighs> oh my god! It's like almost 90. But like a Jersey 90. It's so warm and beautiful. I'm here for it. I can't believe how beautiful it is. It is just, oh, so gorgeous. Anyway, so I'm 125 now and I'm sure everyone would love to know how I got to be 125. And everyone is going to be super upset with the response. The answer is willpower. I don't know how else to tell you this, but it's literally lots of veggies, avoiding processed foods, and uh, enjoying your fruits, whole foods, things that don't have more than one ingredient in them, uh, lots of walking, lots of water, eat less, move more. That's it. Don't eat as much as you burn. Eat less than what you burn, and if you eat less than what you burn, you will lose the weight. It's just, it's just science. That's just how the math works. So if you would like to know what I ate and like the specifics and what worked best for me to have the most effective uh, weight loss, I am happy. You know, I will, I will tell you as soon as I get home, we'll start our matcha, we'll enjoy that, and I will go over everything with you. But for now, we're going to enjoy this gorgeous forest. You hot? <laughs> to add milk so it's still very good though i mean i'm happy so mm. i was gonna talk to you about my weight loss okay take notes just kidding take notes so the veggies that do it broccoli uh green beans anything that's green and leafy spinach green and leafy think Dark green and leafy. I'm sure kale is great. I didn't, I didn't touch kale. Kale's not my jam. But I was doing broccoli and hummus every night. And every time I did broccoli and hummus, I swear to you, I could have been bad that day too. Like I could have had like pizza earlier in the day, like, and like I was bad. But I would counteract that with broccoli and hummus. And the broccoli clears everything out and prevents apparently prevents you from absorbing the fat of the day and the hummus also because it's beans and protein it just fills you up it's amazing so if you need a cheat do broccoli and hummus fill up on that and then you can kind of like partake in like the other stuff that you might be like a little naughty about but honestly the best thing to do avoid processed foods eat one ingredient foods fruit vegetables 
avoid the raw and raw make sure it's raw like if your veggies are raw it's going to be more nutrition in them more effective for your body and you're going to feel full because when you cook things that it it takes the liquids out of it so make sure like if you really wanted to get the most effect from your veggies and the most nutrition and to be fuller eat it raw i know you probably don't like it veggies for some people mm, not their jam but it works i swear to you it works uh, the proteins that I kind of stick to, uh, chicken, not a lot of chicken, just a little really. I, I Chicken is generally the way you get it. It can be uh, pre-salted, which is a problem. You don't want to add too much salt because then the water weight and then that's a whole thing. Um, but I love salmon. Salmon was fantastic. And shrimp, uh, interesting enough, because it's very, very low in fat and calories but very high in protein so shrimp and salmon were really really good um and i started kind of getting back into beans i had avoided them for a while because they really messed with my stomach but it turns out once you get your body in how do you say like kind of ready for healthy healthy foods your body can better process those healthy foods and you're not suffering as much I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what happened with me. So now I enjoy beans, which is a great source of fiber. That's what we want. We want to get everything out of our body, make sure that our digestive system is happy and working. Um, and it's also a great source of protein. Again, it's very lean. It's very uh, filling, all the great things. So, And then, of course, I would also have lots of salads, the greens, and my matcha. And basically what my matcha is, you can tell it's not completely green, but that's because I've made it a dirty matcha. I add espresso to it now and because um, I like the boost and I also will add a little mocha because I like chocolate um, and that extra little flavor. But the, mo the matcha has collagen in it and this is how I consume more protein. And the collagen specifically, as opposed to any other protein powder or anything like that, the collagen specifically has several different types. Um, Hubby did a whole bunch of research. I don't really know the types. I'll get into that uh, hopefully soon. Um, the types that you need that your body needs to absorb so that it can do its job. So with that collagen you also need to take vitamin c and glycine so that your body best absorbs it and takes it all in and does what it needs to do in order for you to have healthy happy healthy body so here's the fun thing about collagen i wanted it because i wanted stronger nails which just happened it took a whole year for collagen to finally work on my nails but it's working and they look amazing and i'm so excited about it not only is it good for your nails it's good for your skin, it's good for your hair. Um, but the real benefit, the real benefit of collagen is that it is also very good for your joints. And my knees had been killing me. Of course, I was 176 pounds. So it was a lot of pressure on my kneecaps and all that. I was doing a lot of walking, but it was still really hurting my joints, especially my knees. Within a month of doing collagen, my knees felt so different in such a great way, in such a positive way, which is exciting because I'd never experienced something that had happened so quickly. You know, usually everyone's like, oh, I just want, what are you, what are you doing that, that will, you know, that change your body? How did you lose so much weight? And honestly, it's eat less, move more, but you have to put the right fuel in your body. And the collagen was a great starter for me. And I'm continuing that because it works. It works for me. Um, but yeah, it also really helped my joints and my skin and my hair and my nails. And, uh, yeah, I just, it's one of those things that I really, really like and enjoy, especially when I take it with my matcha. But yeah, I hope that helped. If you want any more details, I'm happy to share with you everything else that I've done. Um, I got a whole bunch of packages that I want to go over with you guys, but first I'm going to enjoy my matcha and uh, I'll check with you later. Okay, I, I got a little too excited and I opened the bag, but I only took one thing so far out of one of the little bags and I'm super excited to show them off. I got a whole bunch of 
uh, bodysuits because I love bodysuits. I think they're super sexy and they stay tucked into your jeans and your uh, skirt or whatever it is that you're wearing with it. So I got a bunch of them because they make me really happy. So this was one of them. I thought it was really sexy and beautiful. We'll have to see what it looks like on. Uh-oh. Right? I think it's going to be really fun for summer. I got a sexy lavender one. Okay, listen. I have a thing for lavender. I can't help it. I'm excited about this one because it has a little structure in it and um, a little shelf bra, which, you know, very important. So we'll see how that looks. I'm very excited. Very cute. I thought this one looked really romantic, but the problem is I didn't realize that the lace part is, um, you know, see-through. So we'll see how that goes. I got this one, which is just simple black, but I like how the back is all really low and I thought it was very sexy, kind of romantic in a sexy way. Um, so those are the bodysuits I got. I also got a corset that is um, fun. Uh, I've always been a fan of corsets. I think they're really sexy. I've never really worn them outside of uh, photo shoots, which th that would be the case with this. <laughs> but um, I just thought it was really fun. And I'm hoping maybe hubby and I could go out and have a little photo shoot because this, I mean, but you already know I have an affinity for rhinestones. So that's this one. <laughs> Okay, now for the other pieces. I have not seen them, so hopefully they look good. We'll see. All right, I'm a little nervous about this first one because it does not look like it looks in the photo. So I'm already kind of bummed, but here it is. But we'll see what it looks like on. Maybe it looks amazing on, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, next one. This one is wet so i will not be putting it on my body until after i wash it which hopefully doesn't ruin it because that is disgusting but it's a two-piece and hopefully it fits and looks amazing because i would love for that but i also the smell is 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 horrific so i'm just gonna actually throw that in the wash right now so one more dress and then aside from this one, we'll see what the rest look like. If you hear that, it's the washer because that is in the washer now because it is disgusting. Anyway, last dress. Hopefully it looks good. I mean, I think, I think it's, we'll have to see what it looks like on. It's pretty cool looking, I think, but we shall see. Anyway, let's try on what I have so far and uh, you can tell me what you think. Okay, so we're gonna try on the things that we just got. This is obviously my favorite uh, gym set, but that is not what we're doing today. Although I will say I do love it. It oh, makes me feel so, mm, especially right now. Anyway, okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna do the body suits first and then we'll get into the dresses. So uh, uh, let's get started, okay. Okay. Um, Thought I would start with lavender, but um, this is uh, <laughs> this is what we're working with. It's cute, don't get me wrong, but it's dangerous. I thought it would have more support than it does. It has none, but um, great for summer, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Tell me what you think about the lavender bodysuit. Yay, nay. All right, next. Yeah, um, this is a, this is, this, no. <laughs> no, no, mm -mm. not, not, not in public. So yeah, absolutely not. Okay, next. <laughs> I had it on backwards. Yeah, this, mm-hmm, this makes much more sense. <laughs> I was wondering 
why it was so much longer in the front than in the back. Yeah, also love that. It was beautiful detail. But yeah, um, <laughs> now I can wear it in public. Good news. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, at first I was like, no, it's uh, no support. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, but then I realized how kind of sexy that was and I was like okay I can I can mess with this this I can this I can mess with so it's sexy I will yes I think I think this one is definitely a nice surprise okay next okay um I love this because look how it can kind of like go over do you see that detail where it can kind of like kind of go over the jeans like I love that I also love that the straps are also fully adjustable so I can get the support we need I love this this is this is a winner I had a feeling it would be and I'm so glad I stuck with my instincts on this one yeah I really love this one okay so this was the last bodysuit so now I'm going to try on the two dresses. The white thing is in the wash right now because it is disgusting, um, which will be in the review. So that will be that. But anyway, um, we'll do the silver dress and then the flower dress. So here we go. Yeah, this one is, um, I don't know where my boobs are supposed to go. Like, why? What is this? It's also, like I said, this is not, what is happening? I don't know. Um, <laughs> like, what is happening here? That's not where they go. What a terrible neckline. Just a, I don't know. Maybe for photo shoots, you can kind of like hide it and fake it. But in terms of like going out, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, all right, let's. I mean, I look good, but yeah. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try on the uh, the flower dress. Let's hope it's cute. Okay. Well, does it fit? Um, it's a little loose, if I'm honest. I mean, the zipper went up, so that's good. I like that it's backless. I think that's pretty. The sleeves are very loose the neck is not great i don't know where to put my my bubbies but this is this is it's okay <laughs> i guess you get what you pay for but i don't know what do you guys think it's cute i guess in a field of flowers photos all right for a photo shoot i can see this potentially working um going out in the sleeves are very itchy and uncomfortable so it's not great but it's it's okay i don't know anyway i'm gonna change into something that isn't itchy and uh yeah okay yeah i know it's uh it's a little later this finally came out of the wash and dryer actually came out perfect um and ironically despite being moist and smelling awful <laughs> it is actually really really nice I love the material I love the lace I love that it is also um feels really high-end and kind of like old-school Italian and I like the zippers and I like the way it looks on me and I like that it's not too short. It's just like still got length to it. And I like that it's all sheer in the back. I think it's really sexy and beautiful at the same time. But yeah, so this is the last thing that I had to try on and as disgusting as it was when I got it, uh, it's probably my favorite thing that I got, so. That's really cool. Anyway, 
uh, yeah, I'm gonna go change again. But I just, since it came out of the dryer, I wanted to share it with you. Right? Cute. Okay. Great as usual. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's after midnight. I've been editing. Today was a lot fuller than I anticipated it being. Anyway, uh, tomorrow we have a wedding, so I hope you're excited to join us on that adventure. And um, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions about how I lost the weight or need any advice on how to get started because getting started was the hardest part, obviously. Um, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely fill you in on all my tips and tricks and how I lost 50 pounds in, in a year, a little over a year, maybe like 14 months. <laughs> it was the last 10 that like, you know, was hard, but anyway, um, I hope you had an incredible Friday and as always, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Until next time. Bye.